anything in Yoruba religion, before you worship even any of the deities, you make sure you set aside a morsel for Oshu, Ishu. Ishu is really the messenger of the deities. He can deliver the message straight. He's always truthful, but he may deliver it in a way without lying that makes you uh, misinterpret the message. But that's because he has a lesson to impart. So when the missionaries came, they looked at this uh, among the other deities, the god of lightning, the god of the rivers, the god of purity, the god of war, the god of uh, the god of the moist elements, etc., etc. Ah, they said, issue. That's the answer. He, this mischievous person who upsets uh, human plants, that's the devil. And so, issue became, for Christians, the devil, Satan. And even in the Yoruba interpretation, translation of the Bible, each time you hear of the devil, Satan, it is issue. On the contrary, you'll find a symbol of issue in the divination bowl, because it is he also who helps the Babalao to interpret the Udu of Ifa, Udu. The Ifa is the, the scriptures, the compendium of Yoruba wisdom, uh, even pharmacology, all the wisdom of the Yoruba is bound up in the verses of uh, Ifa. And the, uh, the compendium called Ifa, whose verses the Babalao, the diviner, recites as he divines for human beings. But today, it's very painful to find one's own countrymen and women referring to Ishu as the devil. By contrast, look at what happened to Ishu when he moved with the slaves to Latin America. Having arrived <clears throat> with the knowledge that Ishu was feared by the, uh, by the Christian missionaries, the slaves adopted Ishu as their patron deity, just to scare the, uh, the, Christian, the Christians who wanted them to convert. Ishu became uh, the paramount as their patron deity, just to scare the, uh, the, Christian, the Christians who wanted them to convert. Ishu became uh, the paramount symbol of resistance in Latin America, in the Americas. In fact, it went beyond that. In certain parts of Brazil, for instance, you'll find that issue has even been elevated to the supreme deity, simply because that was the symbol that was their, uh, their protagonist for freedom. And so you find the transposition of deities across the Atlantic, how not a minor, but certainly a junior deity, became not only the symbol of resistance in the New World, but the supreme deity in certain parts of Brazil, like Brasilia, for instance. On the contrary, if you go to uh, Bahia, which is the heartland of the, of the Yoruba in Brazil, and you go to a Yoruba sh shrine or candomblé, no, the hierarchy is quite plain. But in certain other parts, you see, Ishu became the supreme deity. Now consider <clears throat> today, now this was the history of the missionaries in, in uh,